Hi students and welcome back to computer practice with Mr. H and what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on computer practice in 6. I'm working with the question paper of 9 September 2020. We're going to do if calculations today. Alright, so the if calculation is going to be based on question 10 of the question paper, this question paper as well as the spreadsheet and the memo um, of the formulas is available in the description section just below this video so you can download it from there but um, just to show you where to go to we're going to do question 10a of the spreadsheet of the question paper all right here we are and we're going to focus specifically on question 6 or number 6 of question 10a we're going to do 6a b c as well as um, D up to H all right so let's get started but before we do that I just want to quickly go to the example of the question which is this one we just rotate this quickly I want us to focus on row number three and four which basically means that we need to change the text in rows 3 and 4 we need to change to uppercase and it needs to be centered and then you must use A I'm not sure if something is cut off at this point but it's more than enough information for us to to finish the question so what we're going to do is basically they want us to change the text to uppercase and we're going to use a formula to do that First of all, we're going to click in A because it's specified to use A and then we go to our formula bar and we click in front of the, the text there, we're going to click in equals and the formula that we're using is upper. All right, close our bracket, always use inverted commas when we are using text. So in front of your text, you insert an inverted comma behind your text you insert invert comma you close it you end it off with a bracket and you press enter and you will notice that your text becomes capitalized or changes to uppercase we're going to do the same here we're going to use the a column we're going to go to our formula bar we're going to type in the equals upper open bracket inverted comma at the back or behind the text inverted comma close bracket press enter Right, so that's how you change something to capital letters and let's just quickly change this to to center as well to do that you have to know what is your range in other words what is the range of your spreadsheet my this particular spreadsheet starts in column a and it goes right through to column j so this spreadsheet the range of the spreadsheet is from a to j and also from row 1 to 17 so go to your spreadsheet select in row 3 a b c up to j and then you merge and center all right same up here yeah so it's row 4 a up to j merge and center so that's how you would merge and center some things it all depends on the range i did exactly the same thing for the heading all right so moving on to our first actual question of um of the formula all right so if question 6a use a formula to number the countries in pool b all right so here we have the numbering of the countries we need to go and number them and there's two formulas that you could possibly use the first one is sum so it's equals sum open bracket a1 um a8 plus one i want to add another one to this one it will give me two so it will give me two all right so then i just copy that formula down alternatively i could use equals value equals value open bracket i want to add another one to that one close enter Copy. so equals value would work exactly the same all right but what if the difference was they wanted they wanted two between each number then you would just add two for example instead of a one you would just add a two 
and then copy the formula then it is a difference of two in each case all right but in this case it was just the one so you must always determine what is the, the difference there so so there we go so it's just one two three four five next we're going to go to the qualified column because the next question is asking us to do the following use the appropriate function to determine whether the countries qualified for the elimination rounds in other words in this column over here we need to determine whether the countries qualified how are we going to determine that first of all if the pool points are more than two a country is going to qualify whenever you see the word if that implies that an if calculation has to be used or will be used all right and then you look at your criteria if a, if the pool points are more than two then the country so you display the country's name in other words they will qualify and if it's more not more than two otherwise the answer should be eliminated what that means is students all right if the pool points are more than two the country qualifies and we need to display the name of the country if it's not more than two the country does not qualify and the word eliminated will then have to be displayed so whenever you see the word if it implies it will be then an if calculation so in other words you put your cursor in the correct cell you click on formulas you go to a logical because it's logic the if is a logical function you're gonna click on if and we get three criteria in our uh, function argument box it's asking you what is your logical test what is true and what is false all right my logical test they said that if the pool points are more than two so that is my logical test all right if the pool point is more than two all right and if it's more than two what must happen well if it's more than two then please display the name of the country if it's not more than two please display the word eliminated all right click ok you see already the word eliminated is displayed for the first one because it's not more than two but if we copy the formula down the rest of the information will be displayed all right south africa is more than two it that's why the the name of the sub the word south africa is being displayed because we said display the country's name and if it's not more than two display the word eliminated now let's go to the next one the next question says use the appropriate function to determine the high scoring teams all right let's go back so in this case we want to know what team scored the highest now how will i determine that if if the points for the team is more than 100 the answer display high scoring team otherwise the answer displays low scoring team all right so in other words we either need to determine or display whether a team was a high scoring team or a low scoring team and to determine that we need to look at the pool um the points for the team sorry and if the points for the team is more than 100 then it's a high scoring team and the points for the team is not more than 100 it's a low scoring team now obviously we can already see there's only two teams that scored more than 100 so these two the answers here will then obviously have to display high scoring teams and the rest will display low scoring teams because they were they were less than 100 to determine that we put our cursor in the correct cell we go to if and we specify a logical test if the points for the team is more than 100 then display the word high sorry two words scoring team and if it's not more than 100 display low scoring team all right as simple as that click ok copy your formula done now we need to go and determine whether or not a campaign was successful let's go and read the question Use the appropriate function to determine if the country's campaign was successful. Now, if the points for the team is more than the points against the team, then that country is successful. If it wasn't, then the country was not successful. In other words, 
points for the team. Let's see, here we have points for the team and here we have points against the team. If the point for the team is more than the point against the team that was, then that will be a successful team. If it's not more, then it's an unsuccessful tool or low scoring team. So let's see. Clearly, this one New Zealand um, points for the team is 14, points against the team is 177. So this would then be a unsuccessful campaign. But over here we have point for and point against, which is more. Point more points for is more than points against, so this would be a successful team. So put our cursor in the correct cell. We're going to click on logical if. All right. So if a if the point for the team is more than the point against the team, then display the answer successful. If the point for the team is not more, then display the answer not successful. All right. And click OK. Copy your formula. And that's that. Sorry. Yeah. I just had a little bit of a delay there. So it's not, yeah, so there, there's your answer. All right. So it's as simple as that, students. You can obviously rewind this um, video just to get the gist again. But it's really just about reading where the if is. Always look for the if. So if something is the case, then more than this one was pretty simple. All right, then we're going to click on quickly go to um, <clears throat> EFG and H. E says use appropriate funds to determine the total number of teams. All right, that one is easy. So we need to go and determine how many teams were part of this tournament. We know it's five, but we want to display the number five here as well. So we have to go and count our countries and it equals count A. Why count A? Because we're using letters of the alphabet or words to count. Um, whenever you use words, you have to use count A. Highest pool points equals max. This, this is an N4 calculation, so it should be easy for you guys. Um, lowest points, come on, equals men. Again, an N4 formula. And then the last one, average, again in four formula equals average. Um, select. All right, students, thank you so much for listening. However, if you see this borders missing, always please replace the border, select where the border needs to go, right click, or um, alternatively, rather go to home, go into your num number dialog box, select. Um, select border and then just add where the border has to go click ok and there's your border alternatively select a whole section then just go to your number box click on border and just set just specify outline it will insert the outline again where there needs to be an outline students thank you so much for watching and join me in the next video where i will be explaining H lookups and B lookups in question 11A of the same question paper. Thanks for watching.